Now, as you can see, when I said very shortly, I literally just stopped the video because it was going a bit too long. But I do want to have a look at this. So, as you're all aware, this is Farm Brown down on the farm on a lovely map made by, you know, Willet Bill and Oxford and David and their lovely team. So, yes. Well, this, if anyone's wondering, not seen the first part, this was a bit of a funny video. We were just trying to. I do a lot of stuff like this off stream, off stream. Make sure the mods I'm using work with everyone else. You know, if we get an issue with them, then you won't see them. That's a lot of time spent me doing nothing. As far as YouTubing, you know? But today, we're just having a little. It's not a mod review, but we are actually going to do something. Just want to see how we are in this new mod. I mean, you know. Is Farmer Brown fussy? Well, I could say he is, but I don't want to show things. So I don't quite. I don't know, they're all like you, mate. As far as the arms and. So, you know, what I'd like to see is the rods. You know, the rods just there? They're grey, and that's fine. That's fine. You know, it's basic standard on. The game, you know, it goes up and it stops where it's not. I mean, look, it's not sipping in. But what I was like, see, that is supposed to be like a nice chrome, you know. You ever see a hydraulic ram? You know, they are lovely and shiny, and you touch them and they're wet. But it's all like in the game. The only one I've seen proper like that is a bobcat, and you've seen them on the field on that. And I think you agree that that is a mod that is going to be hard to beat. It's got its little faults, but they can sort that. You know, faults, they can sort. You know, version 2 of that is going to be horrendous. You know, if they ever do a version 2, I hope they do. But version 2 is going to be, it's going to be something to, you know. Uh, yeah, let's get this balanced because obviously we want to, that's rest. We want to put it over the actual. We don't want it on the vehicle. You know. This is basically where we were before we sold them bit. Now look, we've got quite a good. Now I know in 15 there's a lot of this and they were really good. It's the first one that I've seen personally for 17, so. It's early days. It's all these mods are oh, early days. You know, we had good mods right at the end. I mean, that was what was it? Two years, wasn't it? Of playing the game. Well, this is a bit weird going on. Yeah, maybe like that. It looks, um... Well, so if you want this um, broken, I mean, all I'm doing, I know what it is, I think. I think I know exactly what it is, because I'm over them back axle, that back um, wheels. I think that's what it is. If I went a bit more forward, we probably wouldn't have that, but then we'd be putting stress... No, no, we still get it. Okay. No, uh, we didn't get that before. So there's something now. Oh, it's as funny as monkeys. We see a video, but we'll leave it off. Does it manage it? I think it manages it off. Uh, it could be... I don't know what it's... One of the mods there are obviously not wanting to play with the other one. You see, it's not going to really go anywhere else. So I think we'll put this trailer away for a minute because we want to move on to the, the other stuff we are looking at, you know? And they go, oh dear, can farm ground actually be first at trade, I think. <laughs> um, but this way, it's easier in real life. 
and I'm not even joking. But yes, we can do it. Oh yes. Yeah, you know, he's a bit of an expert when it comes to reversing in the game and out of the game. But I must be he's easier in the game. Uh, out of the game. But anyway, so that's this. This I won't be going over. This is coming on to demo in a bit. It's getting ready for a demo demonstration down on my yard. Well, that's why you see a lot of this moving around. In fact, we'll probably take that in a minute. Leave the truck there and take that. This ain't. It's just gonna fit that thing up. So this is the other one here. Yeah. Have a little look. You know, you see that notebook wires hanging there. You see? You know, I like that. No, it's a bit awkward to pick it up. This is not the largest as me. I mean, picking up a whatever angle you call that. You know, just to get it on there. Now look, the wires. I'm into a nice little box and it's lovely. Well, yeah, we're going to be giving that a little play later on as well. But all these are the farm, not the farm, the um, shop here. Because of course it is a Ferguson dealership and you wouldn't have a Ferguson dealership without having any Ferguson outside. You just wouldn't do it, would you? So, yeah, we're going to park that in the tree. So, yeah. When I said in the tree, I didn't actually mean in the tree. So, there we go, that can stay there, because that doesn't actually interfere with anyone there. Lovely. Right, now the second thing is of this, oh, this is mine, by the way. Hmm. It is a Mercedes. I do agree with what you say. But is it the best Mercedes I've seen? I like the hands. I like these other. Well, if that's on the hand, where is that? Oh, that's a... It's a different again, oh, yeah. It's not hard to make people's hands move, really, is it? So anyway, let's pop that in here. Out of the way for a minute. No, we're not talking about that at the moment. We are looking at this side. Hmm. I like the straps. I like these. See these hooks? About the time we actually got rope, uh, James actually connecting to this. Right, I don't like this. In respect of what is it actually? You know what? I'm just going to get myself. Not that. I'm going to start again. Get rid of that. And get myself straight down here. And da -dun -da -dun -da -da. All right, let's get one of our you know, vehicles down here. That's the only way we're gonna see what is going on here. Right, thankfully we got a vehicle here somewhere. One of our good little trucks. You dodgy mirrors for some reason. Anyway, that's what that's about. No, this is one of these we're going to turn. I'm not going to be mucking about it. If it turns, it's going to simple as. We don't need all that. You know. See, I do like these. If they work, if they don't work, they're going. <laughs> All right, let's see what this has, this can do. <coughs> it's the low boy. Unload, unfold the low boy. 
Oh, well, she's wide, isn't she? Is she wide? And we can lock it, apparently. So let's... Alright. So let's, uh... Disconnect that. No, not disconnect that. Let's disconnect that. No, 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 no. We want that out. Boys and girls, we want that out. We want that off. Now, we have a perfect example of a big tractor here. Right now, right here, right here. This tractor is Mundudu. In fact, no, we're not. This has to go to the yard. So why not try both out? <laughs> well, Farmer Brown, he's a little rascal. He's put them both on the spot. Well, firstly, that is a perfect size. I mean, that's perfect there. Let's zoom in. Our production here. Look, now we lift that up. Let's get a right on here. Get a right on. Come on, come on. Let's get a right on here. Oh, yes. Oh, my hammy likes this. You know, that was you saw was right on there. Let's throw this back boy down. We're going to do this as realistic as we can do it, eh? Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. We like that. Alright, let's get the, the vehicle. Where is our vehicle going to use? Now, we've got a little bit of a shaking. Now, we don't like shaking, but we have to put everything under torque. So, the bar went down, the thing went down, you know. Now, there's a shaking still there. Okay, so it's just pretty because it's flipping through the floor. So, uh, we have unlock. Lock. Okay, so that's saying it's locked. So it's locked to start with. Oh, yes, and look, the wheels are spinning. So we know she is down. Now, could we do a little bit with the roots here? We should actually go over the top, you know? No, what I'm, anyway. Did we know what that was? We should know what that was. So, have we got any way of lifting this bad boy up? It's a bit tired, isn't it? But anyway, let's just do it. Let's just drive to the farm. Now, as you're aware, we definitely need that one. Because she is a bad boy. Right, so we've got a first issue as we're coming out the yard. Okay, okay. So, fair enough. Let's try the other way. You know? Let's try the other way. Because that is a bit of a tight turn there anyway. So let's try this way. Yeah, we're on the road now, so... Ideally, we probably could do with some sort of escort, but she's no wider than the tractor, so you know. Oh dear! Oh dear! There we are stuck. We're stuck between a bin and a post. Well, that's not a good start. So, we're going to stop there, and we're going to reset that. So, as you are aware of, we uh, sorted that off, and we're back on the road. So, for how long, we don't know. Not long, by the things. So, as much as you want to get this down the road, you can't do it from the cab. So, let's just do it properly. Now, is this too big for the map? Well, in theory, it shouldn't be, should it? Because it's just a lorry taking something that needs to get to a farm. Oh, a tractor! You know, if we've been driving for, say, say we've been bringing this down from somewhere else. I don't know. Say, well, say Ireland, perfect example. We are bringing our vehicles down from the other camp. You know, we're not going to drive this. 
at 30 miles an hour. It's just, just not, not going to be there. So we want to be getting up to at least on the motorway 60, 70 miles an hour. You know what I'm saying, yeah? Obviously through here, you know, we are going to reduce the speed. So we could argue the toss that we just dump it here and drive it the rest of the way. But no, Farmer Brown wants to deliver this because it's wet happens. When we drop the tractor off, what, we walk back to our lorry 40 miles away? No, you see. And this is where I'm saying, now I've took this road because I know this road is probably one of the worst ones on the map. Which ain't, you know, it it, it, they do, you know what they do, they ground off, they do their own silly things, and is that the map's fault? No, no. No, it's not the map's fault, but we want to be, you know, now obviously nothing coming down, so we can actually use up the whole road. There's no issue with that, but if something did come down the road, we'd have to come over here. And then we've got a bit of an issue. So let's just see if we could actually get down in the corners. We'd have to stop, obviously, you know. But anyway. Well, like, things like this. You know, we do need a happy one, by the way. We have to take it wide. Yeah, do lorry drivers do this in real life, you know. Now this is going to be where it comes in. Now, do we can we actually get it down there, or are the banks too high? You know what is going to be the issue here if there is one. Now I'm hoping and praying because I like this trailer. Now, we can get away with this because you know the other trailers are not wide enough. This is perfect wide width for this tractor to build. You know we want all. You know what I mean? We want all one, don't we? Uh, these are our fields for the boys, girls, these are our fields. Coming on quite well, aren't they? We've cut all them grass, really. Now, we can wait all the gates. Let's just put it down through here. You see, we're not going to be doing any logging. Don't panic. I know you can't wait to see it. This is our other loader. Our other flat, you know, our, our uh, what's it called? Slow boy, right? This is our other one. So let's see how the two compare together. You see what I'm saying now? And they're pretty much identical, aren't they? I mean the back is a little bit different, but then you'd expect that because they're two different authors. Which one's the better one? Well, we've got four bits of wood there, and then we've got one, two, three. Well, actually, but wait, these are big ones in the middle, so what have we got in the middle? Right, so here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven planks. And here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten planes. Got some all oh, a little bit thinner than that. And I like that because obviously they've you know, had to change the boards. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just guessing. But you know they've done the same. And I like that. See, I like this. I like that one. I mean, that's my old one. And then we've got this, you know. And again, I like it because I was it wouldn't be here. You know, this is one better. It's all good because I don't want to have the battles of which one's better. This one has the little eyes. This one's completely flat. This one has hoops on the sides. This one's completely flat. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen platforms, three wide, yeah? And this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I don't know how many of those are. You can have a look. You 
Well, let's just test something. I suppose this is what we should be doing. Now these are four of the bars. Now you can see this one is a little bit short, huh? Now, we haven't got to worry about the change of the track because we have another tractor unit here. So we can get into that. And the beakers on. Now this is what we were supposed to be. See, this is not planned. This is just us testing out things, you know. And this is stuff you won't see, probably not. Now that one has got the locking strip. Now you pick this one up. Hmm. I don't like that. Now did that make, did I do that? Yes, I think I did that. <laughs> Sorry, that was me. <laughs> uh, hang on. The locking strip's still on, isn't it? Alright, locking strip. Oh, lock. And then decrease. Alright, oh, that's it. Now, that's a little bit wider than the cab of this. Right, and this one it's a little bit narrow. So, right, so this one it should be wider to start with. Alone, I think that's now. That's the one we just come off. Let's see it's wider, can't you? And this is one we're just going on to. And as you can see, already my tyres are well and truly over. The bucket is over. So there you go. So, you know, I don't even have to tell you which one's better. You to see me. Okay? And you look at this, it's pretty much damn on. If I move it over. And you can see I can get both wheels on there. And that's legally what I need. You know? So there you go. Straight away, the monkey's been dropped. Does it make the other trailer bad? No. You know, not at all. You know? Now, what would I like to see? Well, I would like to see some sort of lifting it up. But anyway, that doesn't matter. So let's get out of it. So we've seen, oh, let's still put that lock on. Of course, this one has got a lock. So it locks on. Right, we want to get through here. We do not know we're trying to get through. Uh, so easy boys and girls, this is not a party. We have an articulated glow boy wanting to get through. So can we all make way into the woods? Come on, come on, get it out the way. Yeah, we can, you know, Arctic, yeah, look at this, this is something else. This is, this is a, well, don't forget, if you remember the very first episode, me coming out of the army, this is what I like. I'm going to wrap it in on. You know, you know how much money they are to buy. Okay, it was a bit rough and ready when I got it, when it was green, but we painted it, good old service, and we've gone through it like a 
well, like anything, you know what I mean? So, and we've made it a lot better now. Well, not better, but we've made it cleaner and more presentable. Well, I don't even know we can hang it out there, but we're going to try. That's it, Bobcats. Bobcat, what are you doing? You should lift your arms up. It's naughty. Yeah, you're a naughty boy. Yes, we know, we know you're back. I'm back with a defendant, should I say. She is something to be reckoned with now. I mean, she always was a little monkey, but now, oh, she's a big monkey. Right, let's get this. Get this lorry back to where it was. Nice place to go to the farm. It took us 11 minutes, we're nearly 12 to get it to the farm. We're not mucking about. No, this is how Farm Brown rolls. He just goes for it. You know, he puts his foot down to the metal and we off. And if anything breaks, we'll repair it later. <laughs> As you see, this is a big wood. Big wood. I'm not even joking. Now, this is the field that we were cutting the field out of earlier. So, this will be interesting. Not electric gates, I know, but it's still going to be lit. interesting because the gates are the wrong way. Right, there we go. Now, does she get out? Of course she does. Alright, now where's the gates now? We do have to turn around and go back. We'll come here to get out down here. <laughs> you see what I mean? But well, technically she's on the farm, so <laughs> we could just leave it right there. Done with it. Right, Farmer Brown, he likes to put it out there. He's a good lorry driver, I'll give him that. But then he should be. I mean, the lorries that he drove on the road would make your eyes water. You know, the setups he's had to trade down the road would make your eyes water. I mean, that trailer, that other trailer, is a tank transporter. I mean, you've seen how big tanks are. <laughs> yeah. They're not, they're not the standard vehicle. So if you see him going really wide, it's because he knows what he's doing. Right, I want this game not to keep doing that. Naughty game. But, you know, he does take it wide, and he takes it wide, and he gets it there. And if he can't get down the lanes, then it ain't going down the lanes. It's as simple as that. If Farmer Brown can't get it down, no one can. Come on, girl. You know you want it as much as they want it. I mean, she he ain't moving around. He's, he's motoring it down here. So, does it go into the main... Well, not the main yard. Does it go into the farm? Alright. If it goes into this... Like this, this just make sure we realise where we want to go. We want to go to the tightest part. Understand? Go on over Palmer Brown, let's do this. He knows what he's doing, doesn't he? Anyway, Palmer Brown can't get it round there. No one can. And that is the truth. You know? Go on that wall, and that's not good. Well, it's alright. Farmer Brown's not beaten yet. Sherry and I have a little trick with it. Oh, he's doing that crafty! He's doing a crafty! Don't go get the post, Farmer Brown. Don't be doing things like that. Oh, well, he's stubborn, isn't he, eh? Yeah, we're keeping an eye on you.
He is crafty. Isn't he? He is the most craftiest bloke you're ever going to see. Now there is a way, he said, that you can do this. Now is it unrealistic, he said, and basically, Take this off right here and now, and push it out. So he's going to do something he didn't want to do. Right, look what he's done. He's done a crafty. Uh, 25 million attempts. But she's round. She is round. Farmer Brown nailed it. He's unloaded the tractor. He don't muck about old Farmer Brown, he really doesn't. There we go. One trailer delivered to the yard and one tractor dropped off and delivered to the yard. So, now why are you getting all hyped up over this tractor? This is what I want to know. Now you got really hyped up with this. Now, I always don't want to get out. Well first, this is a British farm, and we have a Ferguson. Oh yes, it's only on demo. Don't get carried away boys and girls, it's only on demo. Okay, it's only on demo. So we're 19 minutes in. Now, this front loader. Well, I've got to get out and show you this. In fact, I'll get out and show you this. But, Farmer Brown's way. Now, what he likes about this, if you're driving it on the road, he's got the right safety precaution. Look, see this bumper. This metal bar. Okay, he's got little holes in it, and you put it on, and then you put a chain on it. Done. Lovely. Second thing. This thing here. Ah, okay. Hmm. Hmm. So anyway, let's just go on. See what we can do with this. Okay. Let's get on to what we're doing.
I mean, can anyone actually see what's going on with this? That actually moves, yeah? You with that? I can get here. Now here, in the back, well, I can go right up now. And it's not just like you can go right up past the wheels, see? So then you know you've got them big wheels on. You can go right up. Yeah. Right up there. You can actually. You see, that's not 6%, yeah? Let's see if it actually works. Now would you have both one at the same time? Probably not, but I just want to roll it or compact it. Let's set this properly, yeah? Let's get rid of the fun one. Go on properly. Is what you basically you do. I mean that is nice, and that's mainly for like getting the sides out once you've got it really. Right here. Now you're at the front end. And you want to be pushing this up. Well, obviously, you want your man really to push it up. You just do the hard stuff for this, eh? You know what I mean? So you were just gonna leave it like that. This is pretty cool. So you have one person pushing it up like that. Leave that there for a minute. Come down here. I don't know where I am. Jump over that, jump in that. And then you have this bad girl pushing it out. So you're pushing it out with one and spreading it down with the other, you know? You know what I mean? If she were doing this, and the other one will be rolling it down once it's all nice and done. And you can use a tractor. I mean, that tractor you got there would do it. But we have this, so we're going to use it. You know? It's 
So this is how we compact this. Um, you know. So are we going to be doing more grass or is this going to be it now? Is everyone asking? This bin is going to get full. And I mean it's going to get full. When it's going to get full, I don't know. Because it's obviously with seasons. I don't want to fast full time. But we've cut as much grass that we can with the properties that we got and the ground that we've got. Now we are going to be doing a hard thing. We're buying some more fields. They are going to be grass fields. They're not going to be, you know, arable. They're not. So if you don't like that, but we're a dairy farm, and we want to get our cows in the field. Now, I want to have a little talk with someone, and to see if there's any way that you can do me a favour. Because I am a dairy farmer, now I want to do a bit of realistic farming. Now I can't just be having this. My cows are just here. I want them in the fields. And if anyone can come out with an idea how to get my cows properly out into the fields, I would be highly recommending you to star in one of my videos and show me how this works. Mmm. If so I'd like to see my cows, I'd say if I had a hundred cows, I would like to see a hundred cows. I don't mean a hundred cows sat on top of each other. I mean, the field's got a grass in the background. Let's get the cows out there. <laughs> you know, it, why not? Why is it so? I mean, I don't, I don't know nothing about maps. I, I know that you have to use a grid pattern for where you want them to go. But as far as getting them to... Now the only reason I'm saying it's possible because I saw one map and there was cows in a field didn't belong to no one but they were walking around and they looked really good. You know? You now that's all I could have near my farms I'd be happy because I've got my farm. You know, I've got the cows. You know? I'm a dairy farmer, I would like to see. I mean, I've been on dairy farms and they have cows. Why are we in a place? You know? Let's say we have a hundred cows and we've only got, well, a hundred head and we only got ten. You know? <laughs> I don't know how many we've got here. We might have got, we've got quite a good you know, stock of them, but I wouldn't say that's a true amount of what I've got, but I know it ain't. So anyway, and I think that would make the farm feel more like a dairy farm, you know, having that little bit of, you know, so that means we've got to go out and feed them, you know, even better, even better, and we can put them all through the milking process, even better still, I say, ha ha ha, but you know, I think mean, that's going to be possible but you know so now I've just mucked up that tractor that tractor is gonna be like impossible now to get out because of the pile that I've just created The you know, weight's gone off the front now, so we need to bring that down. And we can get out. See, the game is getting quite good. It truly is. And we've just got to be very patient and wait for 19. Because I think 19 is going to be 
well, we're taking it for granted at 19 to they might not do a 19. This might be as far as they get. We don't know, do we? Not really. I mean, because how are they going to beat this? As you see, we are in there. This is how you do it. It's not hard. It's not. You just need to know how you do it. You know. Now, as you can see, it's pretty stuck now. So, what we need to do now? Lift that up. Push that into the ground. I mean, right in, as far as you can get it. Yeah. And as you see, we're out. We are out of there. No, I ain't doing this so that I can get that tractor out nicely. We stuck it in there. Taking a mix. But we want to get it out nicely, do you know? It has to be pushed up anyway, so... You know. Turn that off. So I'm back to this. Now you know this is the hardest bit when it comes to tractors and doing stuff. Is this bit. Yeah, and if you use this tool, I mean, you've got to use a tool like this. No matter how many wheels you've got, if you've got this tool, you can pretty much do it. It widens it and it compacts it. You know? If you do it all in one go, this takes forever. Get right up in the corner. See what I'm saying? Look, you can get up there. See you know what I mean? Now, before, you had to be a bit hoo ha, but with this, right up even with twin wheels. You know? So, that's going to be it for today. And I will speak to you later. So this is Farmer Brown down on the west coast. And I will speak to you later.